Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me walking up back with another Marvel Snap video. Today, what are we doing? Well, there's a new location here, the Altar of Death. What does the Altar of Death do? When you play a card here, destroy it, and you get two plus two energy next turn. This card is very dumb. Very, very dumb. <laughs> so this is the deck I'm going with. Um, basically, what you want to do is you want to, if you're, your best scenario here is Deadpool. Deadpool in your hand, and it's good. The best kind of two cards that can just help you re-incursion. One time I fought a guy who had both Deadpool and Sabertooth, and I just I was just cooked. There was nothing I could do. He was gaining like plus four energy every turn. <laughs> the only thing stopping him was his lack of energy was the lack of cards. Uh, so yeah, you kind of want them. You want to be able to play Professor X and hopefully steal a an area really close. And it's going to be tough because if your opponent is doing the same thing. The best thing you have to hope for is that your opponent misplays or something, but yeah, and then we also have Arrow, who we just got some big old dudes here here at the back. Uh, if you're wondering what is Black Bolt doing here, the answer is Black Bolt completely destroys Deadpool. <laughs> the only card that could really counter Deadpool is this here, Black Bolt. Since a lot of people are going to be using Deadpool, I'm going to be using Black Bolt. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's play. Yeah, this this is definitely. I don't know how this deck does not do very well if my opponent, um, if I do not get the Altar of Death. Alright, so this is basically the scenario I was talking about. So, here's what we're gonna call my opponent is scooping in a couple turns. Because I'm about to mana ramp him so hard that there is absolutely nothing he can do. <laughs> Cause I'm about to get, <laughs> unless he hits, no, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna get, yeah. He's more powerful now. I have Electro now. Perfect. Yeah! <laughs> There's literally nothing he could do! I was getting so much... I was going so crazy, plus this 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 arena, when you know it's coming up, is real dumb. You either play a deck that uh, completely plays into it, or you're automatically losing every single time. Like, honestly, if you don't want to play the silly death gambits, bring armor. Armor is your best chance of um, stopping the altar of death. Because it's it's seriously just GG. Ooh, not a bad hand. But can we get the altar is my question. Iceman! Boo. Boo earns. Ooh, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> that's bad. Okay, uh, but he doesn't know that I have, um, Wasp and Deadpool in my hand. Okay. The Altar of Death. Perfectly. Perfect. Okay. Let me see. Can I... If I do this... Will I have... Let me see. Next turn. Yes. I'm doing it. Fuck it. I should have played Demon. Damn it. That's fine. I don't need a card in my hand. All I need is Deadpool. Wasp. Okay. Okay, I can play Doom. That's good. I can play this. Take a look at this. And then I'm just gonna play Black Widow, you know, for the fella help it. Boom, snap. I think I can beat you. I have eight, uh, not mana. It's not called mana. It's called, uh, energy. I have eight energy, you have less. I think I can win. Yes, four, five, six. He should have six energy. So that's enough for a big. Oh, if he hits me with leader, I forgot about leader. Oh no. Don't hit me with the leader, please. Oh, okay. Rock slide. He better be good. That's a full board sweep, ladies and gentlemen. And for the two extra energy, just for the hell of it. Yep. Like I said, Altar of Death, it really swings the games. The There's no denying. A lot of this game seems to be, like, a lot of energy focused in the sense that nobody wants to pay a card for the energy that it would cost them to pay for it. They would rather figure out a way for them to not pay it. So cards that are like that are going to be better. Sarah, for example, and... Um, uh, Zaku, not Zaku, that's the name of the evil bad, bad guys. The evil bad guys from Gundam, or no, I'm thinking of some, Zabu, there you go, Zabu. The Zaku Nation is something completely different. Alright, let's go. 
We do not have. Do we have enough to potentially Professor X? Let's find out. Lizard. We'll see who goes first on this play. Because I might be able to steal it if I play this smart. No, I'm not going to be able to play this smart. Okay, so I'm going to play him here. I'm going to play my buddy Demon here. Actually, because I can move it anything, I'll play it here. Electro, boom. So that gives me a good plus three energy for next turn. You're a bitch. But that's fine with me. Because guess what I can still do? I can put dudes up to the altar. And that just gives me more mana. Oh, I hate Leech. I can't believe... I can't believe... I'm so bummed out that they did not actually nerf anyone in any significant way. Yeah, did you forget? I can still get energy from it. Okay, so let's see, we're on turn. Oh, Leech is only for a single turn? No, it is gone. His ability is still gone. Okay. Uh, go here. And funny enough, I think I can force all his dudes to move here. Yeah, which I think is what I'll do. There goes Mjolnir, unfortunately. Mjolnir. Nothing we can do about that. Ha! <laughs> oh, they added an arrow effect. I never even noticed. Thank you. So let's see. go here. I should have kept Demon over there, but whatever. I don't care. I'm already bummed out that this idiot uses Leech. So he probably has Leader. Because uh, Leech is a degenerate card that is only used by people who have the Leader. Well, let's see what you got. Come on. Come on, big man. Big man feels so strong. And he loses. There you go. I didn't need my freaking abilities. Not when I have a bunch of big, powerful beat sticks. And your tiny little weaklings ain't gonna do shit against me. And I would've still... I would've actually lost if I'd kept him in there. So that was a smart move on my part. No, I would've won regardless. <laughs> Never mind. Next! Draw 50 cards. Oh, I forgot I have to win matches with the snap. I have to remember to snap. I hate the submission. I hate having like something that tells me, hey, you should activate uh, your card. This would be a good idea. I don't want to do that. Hmm. We're going to be fighting the arrow. Hits TV series, the arrow. Volk arc here. Okay gonna play nothing again and really hope that the mana ramp ramps up again if there's no altar of death we're kind of screwed and to be honest if that mirror dimension ends up copying um altar of death and this is altar of death we're gonna be kind of also double screwed so let's hope it's not that huh Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh, this is potentially Ooh, man, if I, we get double Elysium, that's going to be nuts. This deck is not built with the idea of double Elysium in mind. And by that, I mean, like, uh, my cards are going to be so low cost, he's just going to lose. <laughs> that's my current guess, if it goes double Elysium. Ooh, baby. I can't play him, because I know it'd be bad. I do. I li literally have no other zero cost cards. That's hilarious. All right, let's go. He's gonna see that I have no other zero cost cards in my deck. I drew them all. 
If I can get Odin, that'd be really good. Because what I can do is that I can Doctor Doom this turn, Odin sweep, and then I'm basically good from this point on. Because I'm not going to be going in the middle. He's playing Professor X. Perfect. Little does he know, Thor loves being in the presence of... Uh, he loves being in the presence of that. No, I can't use, oh, I can't use Doom just yet. I mean, I could put him here, but it really doesn't change anything, does it? Let's go with the big beat stick, huh? Oh, and then I can go arrow, and then, okay, yes, this is how we win. We should have low cost on everything. So should he, honestly. He could easily, just as easily cook me. But if I get Odin, I will be in a pretty good stand. Because I can Odin, I can Mjolnir, double Mjolnir, which will give him 12, and that's enough to win. The big problem here is, of course, is that he has the Destroyer, which is kind of annoying. But it's not game-breaking. Yeah, there's a Destroyer. Yeah, even with plus 12, I have a chance of winning. Ah, uh, of course it's Professor X of all cards. Okay, he activates first. So what we're going to do is we're going to Doom here. Going to meal near here. Do we Doom? I could do this. Which will then force him to play over there. Go Professor X. Go Wasp. Go here so there's just nothing that he can really copy. Yeah, I think that works. Let's see, is that enough? That's enough. Let's go. If I lose eight here, I lose eight here, but I'm pretty positive I have arrows, so therefore I can win. What could he potentially be hiding that is bigger than an 812? Oh, it's fine. Oh, that's less fine. <laughs> I don't think I can beat this now. Well, if it was only something slightly stronger, we would have been able to do it, but nope. Nothing to do on that one, unfortunately. I really needed Odin. I didn't get Odin. I needed Odin and I also needed priority, but I got neither. Alright, I lose 8, but it's fine. Again, this deck is bad, so... It's only, it really only wins under one condition, and that condition is we have Altar of Death. If I don't have Altar of Death, then I just lose. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I'm going to hold on to this rock. Because if there is God in this world, this is going to be the Altar of Death. There is no God. I just realized I could just draw a whole fuck ton of Mjolnir's. So many cards in my deck. <laughs> I'm not even gonna be able to draw half of these wheel ears at all. Oh, never mind. There's one. I'll activate this here. No, I need to have a space open. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now I know that I have Odin. That's not gonna suck. Play it in the wrong place, my friend. I'll wait until the final turn. Oh, please don't be anything that screws me over. What did I just say? Literally, I said, don't play. No, goodbye. Literally, I said, don't play anything. Out of all the stupid effects that he could have gotten, of all the stupid locations in the stupid game, he gave me the one that I literally can't play anything. Ugh, fucking, fucking, fucking fuck. You're not supposed to swear anymore on YouTube, because it hurts your channel, but I don't care. That was bullshit.
I'm gonna call it what it was. Let's go in again. Can I get Altar of Death, please? I would like the new location that has 60% chance of actually showing up here. But if you just want to continue, I'm going to play the hood because it's really funny because I can win the bar with no name with hood. Oh, Angela. Anime Angela. The, the good one. I really do think I win this, <laughs> but we'll see what my guy here does. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the... <laughs> so like I said, can I please, for the love of God, just get the altar of death? That's why it's also rough to play in a place that you don't know what it's actually going to be. Mm, altar of death. We continue to pray for death. Yet no death comes for us. Altar of Death? No. Your Dark Dimension. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Dimension. Can you please... Altar of Death! Why do I even bother? Altar of Death? One last time. For the folks in the back. The peak absolutely destroys this deck as well, but... It wasn't that devastating, all things considered. Alright, we're done here. I'm going to ask once again that this next place has Altar of Death in it. If anything else, I actually just want to play the new location. And it would be really nice if the game could stop uh, screwing around and actually give me the new location. There's like not a lot of new content in this game because I have every single card in the game. So if they could throw me a, fro a bone here and just give me the new location, that would be very nice. Can you give me the new location? Right here, location three. If this is not location three, is not Altar of Death, I am just ending the video. I'm retreating from this game and I'm just ending the video. Because I'm also, I'm also annoyed that they gave me nowhere. All right, here it is, Altar of Death, baby. Alright, so I want to thank everyone that um, came here for watching this video. As you can see here at the end here that uh, they gave me Dark Dimension again. A card that is not on rate up. The chances of getting back to back Dark Dimensions are so incredibly small that some would say that you would probably have like what a 1% chance of getting a repeat of a location when there's a location currently up with 60% chance of showing up. Let me reiterate it again. The Altar of Death has a 60% chance of showing up. It did only showed up like once here. And that was it. Twice, I think. And that's all I could play with this. So I'm done playing Marvel Snap for the day. Thank you very much for watching the video. I think YouTube's currently borked. So no views are being shown by anyone. So if you are actually viewing, thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.